hi good evening usually I start by saying good very early morning or something to that effect but we are doing something a little bit different it is really late at night now and I have just gotten ready for bed I have my pajamas on I hopefully look like a glazed donut and have some skincare on um, and so I thought we would do kind of the opposite of what we normally do in the mornings and we would do a good evening time together um, this is not going to be um, a reaction to a music video or anything like that. I just wanted to kind of sit down and spend a couple minutes with you in the evening um, and sort of end our day together. I hope that's okay with you. Um, this is kind of experimental. I'm not quite sure what form this is going to take, but in my brain, I'm thinking of like a vlog, a daily evening vlog right before bed that's like less than five minutes long. It may end up being like a minute and a half long. I'm not quite sure. Um, as you can tell, my voice is tired. I always have to say that, that my voice is tired because it is and because I have allergies. So my voice usually sounds scratchy. So um, I apologize for that as always. But back to the topic. Um, this is vlog, nighttime vlog number one. Um, kind of a big deal to start out with. We'll see where it goes from here. I may do a few and then kind of scrap the idea and realize that maybe this isn't for me, but I thought we would give it a try. But I've had so much fun in the community we've built together and talking to all of you that I've spoken to and written comments back and forth with or anybody who's found me on Twitter, or Instagram and said hello. Um, it's been a splendid experience. Um, so I wanted to kind of spend a few more minutes with you and I thought, let's wrap up our day together. I thought that could be fun. So you're going to have to, first of all, first things first, I'm going to look like I'm ready for bed. <laughs> I'm going to not be dressed up. I'm going to not have makeup on. I'm going to not have my hair done. And I hope that doesn't offend you or anything like that. <laughs> but that's just what this is going to be. I thought it would be very casual. So I hope that's okay. Um, but yeah, and I thought we would just sort of talk about a couple things that are on my mind from the day. Maybe do um, the song that I'm listening to the most today or the song that stuck in my head. Um, something to that effect. So... <laughs> Excuse me for being squeaky. Um, but yeah, so that's sort of the format that I was going for. Um, I'm very open to ideas and suggestions. I just wanted to spend a few minutes with you, really. Um, so yeah, that's what this is. That's my ramble today about what we're doing here. Um, but I do have a couple things I wanted to talk about today that I had already sort of set aside um, from today that I wanted to talk about. Um, the first being sort of what I did today. Today I had my Korean tutoring class um, this evening. Anna, my tutor, is absolutely fantastic. Um, she watches my channel sometimes, so if you're watching this, hi Anna. Um, yeah, so I, I had a wonderful time with tutoring. That's what um, the big thing that I did today. Today's Friday, by the way. Um, but that sort of leads me to the biggest topic for today. Um, Anna suggested that I start watching K-dramas because um, it'll help me with my conversational skills. Um, and I thought, what a fantastic way and what a wonderful reason <laughs> to watch some K-dramas. So I started with my very first K-drama ever I watched this week, and it is called My ID is Gangnam Beauty. And I'm not going to lie to you, I chose it because Cha Unu, I'm so nervous saying his name because Unu, I'm always worried that I'm saying it wrong, um, but I chose it because Cha Unu from the band Astro um, acts in I, My Idea is Gangnam Beauty. And I love him. I think he's phenomenal. And I love Astro. Um, so that's why I chose um, My Idea is Gangnam Beauty as my first K-drama ever. And going into it, I didn't know what to expect. Um, I didn't know a lot about the story. But let me just tell you, I fell in love with it. It was, I believe, 16 episodes and they were an hour a piece. I zoomed through it. Um, and I did also, I took notes. <laughs> it's kind of nerdy, but I took notes while I was watching it and I would phonetically write out words that I recognized but didn't know what they meant kind of thing. Um, so it was, it was a learning experience. It wasn't just fun, um, but that's what's been on my mind. Ever since I finished watching Gangnam Beauty, I cannot stop thinking about it. <sighs> yeah, I just cannot stop thinking about it. The characters were so good and Cha Unu was so gorgeous. 
and it really stuck with me. You know how when you watch a show, you binge watch a show and then you finish it and you've got this hole in your heart where the show was. And so you're sort of like, what am I going to do now? Like, do I rewatch it? Do I find something new? Um, I haven't quite decided yet, but I just know that I absolutely loved that show. I, I was so Gangnam Beauty. That's what's been on my mind lately. Phenomenal show. If you are interested in a K-drama, I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun and it has a lot of like heart to it and the characters are really interesting. Um, but I'm going, I'm rambling on and on and giving you a review and I apologize. But the moral of the story is that it's incredible and that's what's been on my mind lately is my ID is Gangnam Beauty. I would also like to add in that today my television broke. Um, I didn't realize how much I rely on my television. I have a laptop, of course, so I can watch Netflix on my laptop, but I have a television that I fall asleep to and that I listen to things during the night um, and when I'm getting ready in the morning. And so I didn't really realize how much I need, I don't need a, te a television. I didn't realize how much I use my television until it broke today. And then I was sort of like, well, what am I gonna do now? I mean, I can use my laptop and my phone, of course, but it's just not the same. It's, it's, yeah, I can't believe it. So that, that happened today as well. My television broke. Um, and one other thing I've been thinking about, um, is possibly starting a Patreon, um, not to make money. Um, I think I want to just do it and have it be free so that, um, I can post things on Patreon for everyone to have access to that I can't post on YouTube because of YouTube not allowing certain content or certain music. Um, because there's things like recently I reacted to Captain on the Lee Mujin service show, um, and it would not let me post it on YouTube, even though I tried editing it and tried multiple things, but it wouldn't let me post it on YouTube. So some lovely people in our YouTube community suggested that maybe I get a Patreon and post things on there that I can't post on YouTube. Um, so I thought that might be a good idea. And I have been thinking about that for a while as well, because I really want to watch Kingdom, um, that ATs was on and Stray Kids was on it as well, I believe. Um, but I really want to watch that and it would be fun to watch together. So, and I think it's longer and I'm not even sure if you're allowed to post, I don't think you can post the full episodes on YouTube. So getting it something like a Patreon would be the best way to do that. Um, but I'm not getting a Patreon as a way of trying to like get money from y'all. I'm doing it, um, I think you can do Patreon for free and have everybody have access to the videos. That's my, my goal at the moment. Um, that's sort of what I'm thinking about. So I need to do some investigating in that on that front because I don't know a whole lot about Patreon. Um, but yes, so Kingdom is something I would love to react to in the future, in the very near future. I had plans of doing it this summer, but the summer has sort of slipped away from me. I can't believe it's August already. Um, so yeah, I haven't had a chance to do it yet, but I would love to, and I'm gonna look into it. Um, and I think, I think that's most of my ideas and most of the things on my brain this time of night um, that I've been thinking about today and the things that stuck with me from today. This is kind of like a journal entry, like what are the main topics that I thought about today and what was on my mind? Um, so yeah, I think that covers it for today, but I wanted to leave you. I thought a fun way to leave you each time would be with my song of the day. Um, and my song of the day today is, drum roll, um, by Usang from The Rose, from his solo music, and it's called Phase Me. Um, I listened to it a while ago and liked it, but then I re-listened to it a few days ago and it really stuck with me. And it has been in my head for days now. And I've been watching the music video and I've just been singing the song to myself and out loud. And I showed it to my mom today. And that's the song of today, Phase Me by Usang from The Rose. So I think I will wrap it up here today. I hope that's okay with you. Um, I hope you are having a wonderful evening so far. And if you're not, I hope it gets better. And I will hopefully, if all goes according to plan, see you about the same time tomorrow evening. And we can do this again and talk about our day together. But yes, I will be seeing you again very, very shortly. And don't worry, more reactions are on the way as well. I'm editing them um, at the moment. So more things will be posted other than just vlogs. I will continue with the AT's reactions. And the vlogs, the um, evening vlogs, are just going to be something a little bit extra. So a little bit more time for us to spend together. But I want to thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. If you watch this, you are an absolute trooper. 
and I really appreciate it. Um, and thank you for listening to me talk about my day. <laughs> um, I feel a little silly and self-conscious, but I do kind of like this as a journal entry. And I also like it as a way of getting to know y'all better and for us to talk about different things. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to let you go. I'm going to stop talking your ear off. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful night. And like I said, if you're not having a great night, I hope it gets better. And um, yeah, I'm going to bed. Very, very exciting. So I'll see y'all later. Bye.